The old malls are dying. Lions and I have talked about this concept on The WAN Show for years now. Especially in the tech space, the idea of a big box store is crumbling. Stores like Best Buy are starting to dry up and disappear, but that doesn't mean we don't need brick and mortar shops anymore. I'm here to show you what I personally think could be the solution. Let me know if, uh, by hitting the like button down below if you guys want to see more of these kind of concept type videos. FreshBooks is the super simple invoicing solution that lets you get organized, save time, and get paid faster. Click now to try it for free. For quite some time now, going to a big box electronics store has been rather inconvenient. They very likely don't have what you're looking for, other than a few Bye. diamonds in the rough. Their sales staff probably have Bye. no idea what they're talking about Bye. and are just going to fire Bye. off specs from the same Bye. little card that lists Bye. the Bye. price, which Bye. probably isn't very low anyways. Bye. The staff are also Bye. likely Bye. on commission and Bye. are going to try to upsell Bye. you at every Bye. opportunity. Bye. And Gabe, and forbid Bye. Bye. you ever get on the topic Bye. of a service plan Bye. because you might not get out alive. But can you blame them? They're probably underpaid. It's very possible that these sales employees at a big box store are at or below the poverty line, and they probably need their commission gains to get by. A shitty situation for both Bye. of you. Overpriced products, uninformed sales staff, limited selection, aggressive and pushy sales tactics, often a waste of time and money, with a hefty side serving of frustration and annoyance. This has pushed a lot of the techie crowd to smaller boutique shops, mom and pop stores, and the on online e-tail solutions. But the showroom idea is still nice. A lot of the time, we want to see a product in person before we buy it, and the limited selection of the small stores and the inherent website nature of an e-tail don't allow for that type of interaction. Enter Sintrend, the potential saving grace of brick and mortar during the reign of Amazon and various other e-tailers. The focus of Sintrend Creative Park or the Sintrend Mall seems to be a showroom style experience for new products with a heavy focus on comfort and relaxation. Everyone I asked working in a shop was clear and open with the fact that they won't really be having special sales and they'll be selling everything at MSRP. Because of this, they know you're probably going to go find a better price somewhere else, especially considering there is a really cheap tech mall literally connected to the same building. They don't need to be pushy for a sale because sales aren't their metric. The companies involved ranged quite a bit, but the main PC and mobile tech guys I noticed were MSI, Asus, Intel, Acer, Lenovo, Toshiba, HP, Sony, HTC, Sennheiser, Transcend, and Razer, and that's just a few of what is actually there. The floor layout was split into categories. The first floor was mainly mobile, the second floor was mostly computer hardware and accessories, the third floor was cameras, the fourth floor was more camera stuff, mostly focused on accessories, and also some speakers. The fifth floor was audiophile headphones, the sixth floor was mostly like figurines with Gundams and stuff like that, and the seventh floor was little kid and toddler stuff. With some other various things scattered throughout, like 3D printers on the second floor, and this crazy cool racing simulator thing where you actually put on a full racing suit which didn't really fit me but then get into the racing simulator which costs 50,000 US dollars but then while you go around corners and stuff the whole thing will lift you around and move you and whatnot and it's super cool and you can apparently get an actual racing license there if you take a course and blah 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 anyways that was cool. And that's all the floors for now but in the future they'll be opening five more floors. The eighth being Explore the 9th being Dine, the 10th being Dream, the 11th being Make, and the 12th being Show. Whatever those actually mean. On the first floor, Intel was set up showing a wide range of products, and for fun, they had these two racing sims set up, which were wild. A racing chair and racing wheel hooked up to three massive TVs for an amazing panoramic racing experience. Again, just for fun. Moving upstairs, though, is where the real fun started. Floor 2 was definitely for me. Stores up here ranged in styles from just being a straight-up boutique gallery to stuff like Asus, who has a comfy couch set up where people can learn how to use their various products with trained staff that will also host your birthday party for you if you're a customer and give you cake and presents. So random, but also so awesome. My favorite store, however, was the Razor store, and I'd say it was the most popular store there as well. They had everything there, from various potential Razor gear setups along the outer walls, to a, a laptop LAN, a desktop LAN, and even a console fighting game area tucked away in the corner. 
The vibe here was great and they had it going on with a huge range of casual tournaments and a super welcoming environment. People are encouraged to just hang out as long as they would like. And much like the rest of the stores in this mall, the sales counter was tiny and mostly ignored by patrons and staff because that just wasn't the point. I could definitely see myself going to one of these little stores if there was one locally for the amateur tournaments, especially the Hearthstone Fireside get-togethers, which are awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below or over on the forum. Would you like a mall like this near you or maybe just one of the specific stores? Thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit the like button, or even consider supporting us directly through our affiliate code to shop at Amazon or buying a cool t-shirt like this one. I actually got it right this time. Or with a direct monthly contribution through the community forum. Now that you're done all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So click the little button in the top right hand corner to check out the Omron factory tour where Linus and I walk around in kimonos and gawk at cool machines.